To begin the quest, speak to the queen in the Varrock Palace Garden. Then accept the quest. With your Ring of Keros equipped, go ahead and speak to the wise old man in Drainer Village. Choose the first chat option. He will now ask you a series of questions in the art of persuasion. The answer to all the questions are here on screen. Feel free to pause as I'm moving along. You'll now have to gather an assortment of seeds and items as shown here on screen. Go ahead and gather them in any order you'd wish, or just follow what I do. Let's go ahead and collect our first item. Head to the Catherby farming patch. And speak to Dantera. Make sure to have your Ring of Keros equipped. Choose the first chat option, then choose the second option for every other question. The option with the charm on it. Next, head to Ice Mountain just west of Edgeville. Click on the white tree and make sure to click the Secutures option. Feel free to add this to the plant pot and water it. Next, let's head to the Port Fesmatis farming patch. Go ahead and speak to Lyra. Choose the first chat option. Then choose a the second chat option for the next six chat prompts. Now, after that six chat prompt, Carefully, do not click on the charm option. Click on the first one that says, that's a deal, I'll grow the patch of onions for you. Go ahead and plant your onion seeds in both elements. Optionally, if you have a marigold seed, you can plant it into the flower section and protect your onions. And this takes about 40 minutes. So while these are growing, We'll go ahead and tend to the other farming patches for the other items. Next, let's head to the RD farming patch. Go ahead and speak to Kragen. Chat options on screen. Once that lengthy conversation is over, Go ahead and plant your cabbage seeds onto the farming elements. Optionally, you can put a rosemary seed into the flower section to help protect your cabbages. Once again, this will take a while, so let's move on to the other items meanwhile. Next, head to the farming patch just south of Falador. Speak to Elston. Chat options on screen. Go ahead and plant one marigold seed in the patch. This will take roughly 20 minutes. Next, head to the Taverly Lodestone. At the time of this audio recording, Taverly has actually gotten a rework, but only one thing will be out of place. Right next to the Lodestone, you'll find an NPC called Bernald. Speak to him. Choose the second then the first chat option. Use one of your plant cures on the grapevines. It'll fail. Speak to him once again. You will now need to speak to another farmer, Elaine, 
which is actually found just north of the lodestone as shown here on screen. Go ahead and choose the first chat option for both prompts. Do not charm him. Go ahead and use your rune essence on any anvil. Then use those shards on your secondary plant cure. Head back to the grapevines and use your new potion on the vines once again. Speak to Bernald. For the next step, head back to where you started the quest. Now within the list you may have noticed some statues. Let's go ahead and start collecting them. Once you're there at the start of the quest, speak to the queen once again and choose the first chat option. You will now receive a push trolley. For the first statue, head to the Lumbridge Courtyard. Use the trolley on the southern statue to the entrance. And just keep pushing it across the river. You'll simply need to just navigate the statue around the area. Make sure to right click to give it a bigger push if needed. Make sure to right click to give it a bigger push if needed. Make sure to push the statue to this exact spot, then right click and put place. Now for the second statue, head to the center of Falador. Use the trolley on the statue. A cutscene will now start. Then keep pushing it north towards the guards. Once you're back into the garden, push the trolley to about the center of the entire garden. And place the statue. 
if you take too long to place a statue, it'll return back to where you originally found it. For the last set of seeds, let's head to the Edgewell Monastery. Now ignore the seeds in my inventory, as I did do this one specific part of the quest out of order, but everything else is perfectly the same. Click on the pink roses to attempt to take some seeds, you will be stopped. Speak to Brother Althric and choose a second chat option. Make your way to the Edgeville Bank and on the way you'll find a well. Unequip your Ring of Keros, use it on the well. Speak to Brother Althric once again. You will now be able to pick four pink, white, and red rose seeds. Then use your fishing rod on the well. Now at this point we've done all we could and it's just a matter of time till all the onions, cabbages and such grow. So take a little break and come back within a few minutes. So let's go ahead and start collecting our seeds. I'll first go to Port Phasmatis and speak to the farmer. Choose the first chat option and you get your first pair of seeds. Next the RD farm patch. Speak to the farmer. Choose the first chat option to receive four white seeds. Next, the Falador farming patch. Go ahead and pick the marigolds, then speak to the farmer. Choose the first chat option to receive more seeds. Now that we've collected all the seeds, this includes the one in the Edgeville Monastery. It's just not in inventory right now, but it will be in a second. Start raking the patches and adding the seeds. The seed you add to the patch is highlighted once you hover your mouse over said patch. Also make sure not to forget the plant pots by the picnic table. Here is where you will place your compost, then you plant your seeds. Now with everything planted, it's just a matter of playing the waiting game for everything to grow. If you're unsure if everything has grown or not, just simply speak to the queen and she will let you know. Once everything has grown, the queen will ask you to now get the king. Speak to the king and use the charm option. You'll now see a pretty funny cutscene I recommend for you to quickly read it. Once the cutscene is finished, quest complete. <laughs> 